Shotzi is a superstar player who has won many CDL championships, so I got his new best striker 9 build, which works great for both Warzone and multiplayer. Ladies and gents, this build absolutely phenomenal. You're going to have no recoil and so much mobility to where it really works out for any game mode. If you're using a Warzone, there is a slight tweak that you're going to want to make. Overall, though, all these attachments should be basically the same. Like for the muzzle, we are going to be adding the L4R Flash Hider, although there is a secret attachment that I think makes the gun a lot better. It's just banned in the CDL, and so that's why Shotzi doesn't want to get used to that one. That's why he's going to be running the L4 Flash Hider, which is still a great option. This one adds a lot of recoil gun control. I mean, gun kick control and recoil control. And when we look at the detailed stats, you guys can see we get an overall massive boost to the recoil control with only losing about 10% of our ADS speed. So overall, that is a great attachment. A better one, though, is going to be the Zenth Compensated Flash Hider. You guys could probably guess we run it in like every single video. Not rocking in today's gameplay, but this one is going to be a little bit better. Yes, we are losing a little bit of our bow velocity, but we're going to be using an attachment that's going to mitigate that. But Shotzi's running the L4R. By the way, are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost? Then I would check out my long term sponsor, Guapsi. They will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank, and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game. You can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review. I'll have their link in the description. So now we got basically no recoil on the gun, but the range isn't that good, especially if you're running the Zenth Compensate Flash Hider. So we are going to be going over to the barrel and we are going to be adding the Striker Recon Long Barrel. I'm very happy that Shotzi want to add this one to maximize that range because I saw a lot of other pro players rocking the Striker Elite Long Barrel, which yes, it does increase that recoil control, but look at those cons and we don't really get that much damage range. When we add the Striker Elite Long, we don't get any recoil control, but we get a lot more range with basically having no cons at all. And so now this thing is going to be about a three to four shot kill up to 16.5 meters which is very good for an smg and the bow velocity is going to be over 600 which also is pretty good for an smg and just to show you guys real quick that the mobility is still very good on the gun it's a very snappy gun the one thing about this gun is that there's a lot of vertical so it kicks up a lot not really too much side to side bounce it just goes up a lot and so once you get used to that that's when you'll start beaming the targets and make sure you always strafe in the gunfight too so this that barrel still brought down the mobility and that muzzle is bringing down the ADS speed and this gun is already statistically very good so we're just going to make it a little bit more mobile so by doing so we are going to be adding the DR6 hand stop this can allow us to strafe a little bit quicker making it easier to activate that rotation limb assist if you're on controller it's also going to make it so we can ADS faster mitigating that con of the muzzle sprint of fire speed is going to get an increase making it compete with the rival nine and then we also can just move around the map a little bit quicker I love the DR6 hand stop very good attachment in this game if you do want a little bit more recoil control which I don't think you need some uh, the phantom is a pretty good option yes we are losing horizontal but this thing only really has vertical recoil so phantom 5 is also a great option now we got that mobility we got the range we got the recoil control from here all personal preference doesn't really matter what you add what shots is going to be adding though is going to be the rb Corlatus Cor assault stock i think that's how you say it because we get the gun kick control this class didn't really have any gun kick control now it's going to have a lot of gun kick control which remember that's like what really makes the gun easy to use we also get the fire name stability which is just as important as that gun kick control and we get the ads speed and just recoil control so by adding this you don't really need to add the other barrel that's going to actually add recoil control you can get away with having more damage range and then we get the recoil control with the rb Cor corlatus assault stock it's a crazy name so from here personal preference if in the gameplay i was playing public match respawn i wish i had the 40 round mag just because i had to reload a lot the fire rate on this thing is pretty fast so 40 round is definitely a must on here if you're not in rank play as well as war zone 50 isn't bad but the mobility is going to be chalked way more so definitely stick with the 40 round mag and then uh what you guys could also do is add the high grade rounds these ones are banned in rank play but this would make the gun very good at range and yes we are losing recoil control but there still really isn't any recoil on the weapon and if there's too much recoil on the weapon which there isn't you can definitely just go over to the barrel and add the other barrel that adds that recoil control so again high grade rounds great option you guys should definitely try it out here is a screenshot of the class he's not rocking this one though i'm just giving you guys some variations because just uh, the pro player ones they have a lot of GAs and things that are banned this is very good in warzone and then for the class that actually shots he's running is going to be it has a rear grip and that rear grip is going to be the sock and zx grip this one adds a lot of firing stability again basically doing what that stock is doing get the gun kick control recoil control making it so you can really have that range and we got that recoil control and you know in rank play you don't really want to miss any shots and so this is going to make the gun just super easy to use and you guys can see that mobility is extremely fast on this thing and there's 
absolutely no recoil. So here's a screenshot if you guys want it. Which then for the second I'm rocking this Renetti. I rock this in almost every video. So you guys probably already have the screenshot, but that is a great one. Obviously, if you're playing Wars and you want like a long range good primary, and then uh, I'm running the infantry vest so I can tax sprint a little bit longer. Trophy system, so I don't have to worry about nades, scavengers since I was going for that nuke. If I'm not running scavenger, usually I run the marksman. Assault is good because you can jump ADS a little bit faster, but this thing already has so much like ADS speed that you don't really need that, and the marksman will make it a lot easier to stay on target, especially if you want to run this thing in ranked play. And then we got stims, semitex, cover singers so they don't hear my footsteps, EOD so we don't got to worry about nades. Now let's get into the MGBs. Bro, that's always a hit or miss. Like when you're trying to open up that door, it's like you're going to have five snipers looking at you, the northern lights. You're going to have a shotgun guy there or everyone's going to be... Just, I don't even know. Okay. We're in their spawn now. You all know spawns in this are very abnormal. Some would say very good. Some would say very bad. I say absolutely dog shit and it makes me hate this game, but I also love this game at the same time. So definitely one of the best CODs that we've had in, in the most recent years. Like last year's Call of Duty, oh, holy. Let me know in the comments. Which Call of Duty did you like the most? Which one was the most fun to watch? Overall, which one's better your, in your opinion? The one thing I would say, in my opinion, that's better about Modern Warfare 2 is the overall maps. The feeling of like... Of like, you know, like when you shot the guns, it felt better. Oh, see, you can never do that. There's always going to be a man with the one-shot weapon there. And then the visibility. I would say the visibility on this game is not that good. And that probably plays a factor into, like, how the graphics aren't as good as last year's. See, right there, you always can bait people to, like, run at you. Because when they run at you, they have, like, a long sprint to fire speed. So you usually can catch them. Right there, I was looking at my radar, so I knew he was going to be coming up behind me. Radar is everything, boys. Radar is everything. Man's taking a bath? No. Gotta reload. But this thing has no recoil. It is so easy to use. The only thing I would change right now is add a magazine to it. I honestly don't even really need to move around the map. I could stay right there and they'll just keep on spawning in inside of me no 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 please no please no please no 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 honestly i don't think i'm gonna leave that corner because you see that i pushed up a little bit and they start immediately spawning in behind me so i feel like when i'm right here i'm blocking the spawns making it so then they don't spawn here but then i need some ammo too though so gotta find that oh there's there's the ammo see if i rush up over to a they'll spawn in like right behind me as well to where they only have to pull the trigger to get the kill on me I see that arrow moving really quick, so I knew he was sprinting. That's an easy chow for me to get. I thought I had a nade right there. That's why I paused. Okay, we know there's a guy up there. I'm not even going to chow him because he probably has a shotgun. Probably a looking, uh, guy looking down that. I'm moving up a little bit because I see on the radar that the spawn's flipped. No, don't even do it. Don't even do it. I'm so eager just to go in there and just world star him because he looks so cozy. He probably feels so safe in there. But I want to let him know that he's not safe. And I'm, he's only living because I'm letting him live. Okay. Let's call in this Vietzel over across to apply some pressure. You know, when you're like a player on this map, it's kind of like... Wait. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't die from the... My Vietzel. You're kind of like... Like, the whole map is like a big artery. And then the enemies are like the blood. And there's like a big wound and everything's just flowing out of it. And so you gotta like, you know, stop the flow with your streaks and things like that. This is super sketchy of me to push up. I think they're all just shooting each other because of the EMP or something. Has to be. Oh, where are they at? So there's a chance that they could spawn in... Oh, that was an enemy. I thought it was my teammate, so I didn't hit. And then I was like, fuck it, just in case. And so I started hitting. And bro, that was an enemy. You see what I mean? Right when I was saying that, they all started spawning over here. So that, this game is like the battle of the spawns. Modern Warfare 2 had also had better spawns. I just like how there's way more things to do in this game. One thing they do need... Actually, you know, before that. Okay, leave a like. Subscribe with the noties on. If you want to get better at the game. Stop by some of my live streams. I stream almost every day on YouTube. 
trying to advertise that a little bit more. We stream almost uh, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. Actually, it's been a little bit later recently since I've been uh, starting up my Warzone channel, so I've been putting some time into that. Oh, and I'm just about to hit Iridescent, too. When you're seeing this, I might have already hit Iridescent, or I'm going to be hitting it today, so definitely stop by the, the streamies. This guy laying down. There was something else I was saying. Oh, what they should do. So, one reason multiplayer starts to get a little bit stale after a while is that there's less things to do. Multiplayer is a game that... Oh, that was some good aim. The good aim. And so they need to add more things to grind. One thing people love to grind is camels. But a lot of the camels that are available after the main grind are a little bit lackluster. They aren't as cool. So... I feel like they should add another mastery camel grind or like have an endless mastery camel not endless because i feel like people will just like stop going for it because there's no end but it's like some sort of grind for a really cool camel one dude my teammates are absolutely blendering these these uh people up one thing that i really liked about model for 2019 was the obsidian camel it was like, I think you had to get like 10,000 kills, oh no, 100,000 kills with your gun after you got a gold, and then you could unlock the obsidian camel. I feel like they should add something like that again, which honestly, that might be a really good tweet that I should probably tweet out now. That's a, that's a, a great idea. I'm going to do that. The obsidian camel was such a cool camel, and it, was, well, it wasn't like super cool, but it was pretty cool, and it was just something to do. And, bro, those shock charges, they need to make it so you can, like, maybe spam your reload button or spam something to, like, break out of them because... Oh, my God. I don't... You can't swap your weapon. You can't do anything. Yo, we might actually be able to get a double nuke here. Never mind. We're just gonna... Call in the motherfucking MGB. 15 minutes early. Damn it, dude. Oh, I could have had another nuke. He's... Fucking Steve. It's always a man named Steve. God damn it. But you know what? Let's go to a different map. Let's go to like a bigger map and see if we can drop a crazy MGB. If you look at the kill feed, <laughs> the MGB, it only killed my teammates. It got like one kill, but it, it just killed my entire team. That's all it did. What happened there, boys? What happened? I only died six times? Come on, guys. You guys are better than that. Too predictable. Don't want to be predictable in a game of predictions. Oh. Okay, so from my diagnosis, these enemies are a little bit... No, they are way slower. And they don't really have any confidence to push you. So I got to continue to push them. But I need to do it in a way where the American sniper in the back isn't going to take me out. So I think that guy's going to stay there the entire game. I, oh, I meant to throw down my, my uh, trophy. No! Oh! And then there's the one to me with the shotgun. I don't understand. Sorry. Okay, let's focus. Burger man. Back to the king. So let's try to get this this uh, person out because wait I think oh I think he is dead I think he is dead. Oh he's definitely going. What the hell? Well sometimes it's fun to like pick up ground loot guns like all these classes I always find are like really bad like this guy this guy definitely does not watch the videos what is this class? This guy would probably be so much better. It's actually insane how much better you can be at the game with just a good class. Like, this class is going to hold this guy back forever. And he's never going to realize that he could be doing so much better. But he's probably, you know, probably doesn't even really matter. But usually, these people that I find with really bad classes, they always have, like, the most creative classes out of the bunch. Like, very, very creative, like, unique, mill slim classes. Where I think I would find these in like Ghost Recon. Okay, so we got one guy below. Seems like they're all going to be on the stairs side. I'm 
No. I thought I was going to get all those kills. No, that's tragic. Oh, okay. They're all spawning over here for sure. Top left side. Yep. See see where the radar is saying? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Claim, claim, soldier. Oh, we. It's a little bit sketchy out here today, boys. So we got all of them coming down the tunnel. I'm going to wait for them to push up a little bit more because this thing doesn't have any ammo. I can't afford missing any shots. Okay, it's actually really nice to have like a good ranged weapon when you're doing an SMG video because, you know, at least I could take people at like medium range now. No, teammates, you guys all die every... There's, okay, there's four of us. No, I, I need to go relocate. What am I doing? Okay, we have to... I don't want to waste my advanced UV, so I'm a little bit uh, sad that I haven't got more kills. Because we're only on the 15. Make sure you always wait for your health to replenish before you reach out. Typically, sometimes you want to go for that ego chow. It really depends on the on the moment, but usually you want to wait till your, your health regains. Right there, the thing I did, I fired before I even saw the guy. I saw, I saw the guy on the radar, so I like pre-fired, like pulled the trigger and jumped around the corner at the same time. Bro, this boss mob guy, he literally just said Xbox record that. I guarantee you he just said that. This is a little bit sketchy. Okay, we're gonna chill right here for a second. They should be pushing us, I would assume. Unless, no, they're gonna be spawning over uh, on the left side. This is why I don't like triple capping because it makes it a little bit hard to read where the enemies are gonna be at. Yeah, I hope you guys learn a lot about like spawns when you're watching me. That's like everything on Call of Duty is just spawns. You gotta figure out where the enemies are spawning. Look at where your teammates are. Look at where you killed one. I thought that was an enemy that I saw as a teammate, but then he started shooting at me, so I was like, oh, am I wrong? Okay, so we got a lot of guys stair cheesing. He's above us. Oh, it's so sketchy. I didn't know where the enemies were. There is the MG motherfucking B. Now, if you still haven't subbed, now's the time to sub. Or at least leave a like. You know, at least leave a dislike. Just do something, please. Oh, sadly, dude. I mean, sadly, I got to call on the nuke pretty soon. But two very fast gameplays. Two very, very fast gameplays with the Shotzi Pro Player Striker 9. This thing's got... I was going to say no recoil, but I missed like every shot there. So, wait, wait, wait. Shush, shush, do I got time? Please, 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 please. 196, bro. <laughs> Imagine. Turned on. You little witch. It's nice to just, you know, call it in, enjoy the moment. Look at that kill feed. It killed, uh, you know, it got, it got more than just my teammates. It killed three of the enemies. What happened, Ali? What happened? You got nuked? What's up, G? That was crazy, man. And I still was only 14 instead of... Hey, 2KD, bro, I'm so awkward. 